In this video, I want to look at some things to consider before you start searching for primary sources. Think about how much information is being created every single day. The news, television, radio, blogs, Twitter. People are constantly creating new information, and all of it is considered primary source material. There is a lot of information out there, and if you try to search too broadly for primary sources, you'll likely feel overwhelmed. So what can you do to prevent information overload? Well, after you've picked a topic, first gather up some basic factual information about your topic, such as specific dates, places, key events, or names of specific documents, organizations, or people involved. Having a list of things like this before you start will help you to do a comprehensive search. After you brainstorm these ideas, you can then choose some keywords. Primary sources in particular have keywords specific to them. Some examples of keywords for primary sources include sources, documents, personal narratives, autobiography, memoir, correspondence, letters, diary, interview, oral history, speeches, pamphlet, and pictorial works. Say, for example, my topic is looking at the written accounts of soldiers who fought in World War II. In the upcoming screenshots, I'm going to use the keywords diary and World War II to demonstrate how to search the library's book collection and on Google for primary sources.